Once the panels have been installed, it's time to seam the roof and add eave, rake, and ridge flashings. The electric seamer is placed on the high rib of the first panel, where it mechanically seams the panels together. The seamer runs in both directions, so it is not necessary to turn it around at the ridge or eaves. Butyl tape is applied near the cut edge of the rake panel. The rake Z flashing is fastened through the panel into the rake angle below. This piece supplies the last visual rib as well as a weather seal for the rake trim to be installed later. Butyl tape is applied at the end of the rake Z flashing as shown at the splice location, and the last section of flashing is installed similarly. We now move to the ridge area, where wide butyl tape is installed in preparation for the ridge trim. Small sections of narrow butyl tape, often referred to as pigtails, are also applied. Ridge closure trims are now applied at each panel and attached with stitch fasteners. Top rivets are added at the top of the panel seams. The process is repeated for both sides of the ridge. The gap between the panels at the ridge is filled with expandable foam. Wide butyl tape is added over the top of the ridge closure trims in preparation for the exterior ridge cap. The exterior ridge cap is set into place and fastened into the ridge closure trims with stitch fasteners. Sealant is placed at the splice locations of the exterior ridge cap. The process is repeated for the entire roof. Expandable foam is installed between the gap at the top of the wall panels and the bottom of the roof panels. Butyl tape is installed onto the eave trim, then rotated into position and attached to the roof and wall panels with stitch fasteners. Expandable foam is installed between the gap at the top of the wall panels and the bottom of the roof panels. Narrow butyl tape is applied to the top of the rake Z flashing. The rake trim is attached to the rake Z flashing and secured at the bottom edge to the wall panels with stitch fasteners. The end cap is installed in the rake flashing. This represents the final appearance for eaves without gutters. This next section of the video shows the process for eaves with standard gutters. Butyl tape is installed onto the eave trim. Note the use of the extended rake Z flashing. The eave trim is rotated into position and the lower edge is attached to the wall panels with stitch fasteners. The back leg of the gutter, with pre-installed end caps, is attached with stitch fasteners to the top roof sheet. Gutter support straps are attached. Expandable foam is installed between the gap at the top of the wall panels and the bottom of the roof panels. Narrow butyl tape is applied to the top of the rake Z flashing. The corner box is attached using color matched pop rivets.
butyl tape is applied to the gutter box in preparation for the rake trim. The rake trim is attached to the rake C flashing and secured at the bottom edge to the wall panels with stitch fasteners. The roof system installation with standard gutters is now complete. This last section shows the installation of a northern gutter, designed with a lower outside edge to minimize damage from snow. Gutter hangers are installed at each high rib. The gutter section is attached to the roof with pre-installed gutter straps and end caps. Butyl tape is applied to the outside face of the gutter and the top of the rake C flashing. Expandable foam is installed between the gap at the top of the wall panels and the bottom of the roof panels. The corner box is installed using color matched pop rivets. Butyl tape is applied to the gutter box in preparation for the rake trim. The rake trim is attached to the rake Z flashing and secured at the bottom edge to the wall panels with stitch fasteners. Butyl tape and sealant is applied at the ridge area of the rake trims in preparation for the peak box. The peak box is attached using color matched pop rivets. The roof system installation with northern gutter is now complete.